Hello, friends. First of all, let me say, um, I apologize for the website trouble and the trouble with the blogs on Facebook or the blog on Facebook last week. Uh, the neighboring movement uh, is switching to a new website platform and the Julian Way decided to stay with Squarespace and we are getting the kinks worked out in that transition and if you missed the blog last week or weren't able to find it on the website i apologize the julianway.org is now a freestanding uh, website and um the blogs will be available there i will do my best to put it up on facebook as well as i usually do and make sure that the entire link goes through this time. So hopefully we won't have that problem. But I want to reflect on one of the Psalms that was uh, used in the lectionary yesterday. And that Psalms 9, 9 to 20. Um, and this Psalm talks about the Lord being a stronghold for the oppressed and those who are in times of trouble. And as I go through this blog and this reflection, let me be very clear, I'm going to compare several things, a couple things from my own life and a couple of things out in the world. And I am no, in no way trying to uh, make a one-to-one -one equivalence between the two or any of the things I uh, compare or contrast. But the question that arises in me as I read this song and I hear <clears throat> that the Lord is a stronghold for the oppressed and a stronghold in times of trouble is, do I act that way? Do I act as I wait on Lisa and I to find full-time employment for Lisa and we can really so we can really move to the next stage of our life and I can set up the Julian way where we land and continue to the, do the work of the Julian way with those that I'm working with now but in a more firm footing as we are nervous and as we are hopeful and as we are wrestling with what it means, excuse me, to be in this time of transition. Am I looking to God, pleading out of a sense of desperation and fear and maybe hollowness and not expecting God to actually be there? Or am I saying, God, you are my stronghold in times of trouble. You are the place I flee. Bring to me what you have for me so that I may rejoice in you once again showing up in my life. Because the truth is, God has always shown up in my life. N never or very rarely on my timetable. But what this psalm does is remind me of those times that I've been here before, and I need to engage that institutional and that spiritual muscle memory and remember what it's like to hide in God and say, okay, God, I may not see it right now, but you've got this. And as a people and as a church, do we encounter the events of the day and encourage people to see God as a stronghold? Do we look at oppression out in the world and injustice in the world and say that we are a part of the long arc of history and we can offer that stronghold and that refuge and that mercy to people around the world and we can give them an opportunity to celebrate their victories at the Lord's gates and we can be that place. 
I see in my own church a lot of times a resonant, a reticence to talk about the future, a reticence to engage the difficult questions because they are uncertain. And what the truth is, it doesn't really matter what side of the issue you're on. God's justice will always prevail. And I believe that God's justice always leans towards mercy. Coming out of the celebration of Juneteenth at my own church just yesterday, Oakland UMC, and talking so much about that institutional memory and that, that historical memory that our African-American brothers and sisters needed to have and need to have about what that event means for them and for us as a country, all of us. We need to operate as though Justice is going to win out. Those that are oppressing will not hide for long. And that doesn't mean we go around to people we disagree with and go, Christ is going to get you, God is going to get you. But we do operate in mercy and justice and peacemaking and refuge giving. These aren't abstract concepts. These are what the people of God do. And we operate with a sense of institutional and historical justice and mercy. And knowing that justice will win out in the end. So I encourage us to move forward in that knowledge this week and move forward throughout the summer and into the fall and into really the rest of our lives, keeping that Psalms 9 energy up and knowing that if we are following God, it's our responsibility to bring justice and refuge and a place of safety with us. Thanks, friends. Bye-bye.